passion and not to run after futile things. There are many things we can live without except health, serenity and freedom. To stay at home, to cook and to be happy. That life has some surprises for us. You can never be sure about anything. That my time is very important and that uh, we should all have home space. How to make wool socks with needles. To organize my time in a better way and that my lovely life could change in a moment. To run slower. That we just need two small things to be happy. Love and health. To live calmly without running against time. That everything is relative and that we have to love nature more. How to use some remote teaching methods to keep in touch with my little students. I miss them so much. Our freedom can be limited for an animal attack, in this case an invisible one. Not to put off anything and to do what I want, because tomorrow could be too late. To have more courage and to spend more time with my dad, to make him happy. To be afraid, but also not to be afraid, if we do the right things. That we must declutter our priorities to achieve a better care for all human beings. That I don't really need a lot of people around me. That I am not afraid to die, but I am afraid not to live. The importance of a small gesture like an embrace. That this virus is a warning of nature. We must respect nature and deceive the planet. Not to do all I could do today in order to have something to do tomorrow. How to make bread at home and how to take things slow. That my perception of time has changed. How to make pizza and to enjoy family dinner. That we only realize the importance of freedom, we don't have it anymore. To discover with his term wonder uh, and uh, thankfulness uh, what uh, before I consider it obvious. We have nothing in this life, even if we believe it. That life is become a bit complicated and not only a bit but inside complication you can find yourself 